Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and today I'm going to share with you my newly completed album, which is Ciao Bella, and the collection is Sonora. So this album is eight and a half by eight and a half by two and a half inches deep, and that's the outside dimension. The pocket pages inside are actually eight by eight. So I did a pretty simple um, cover here, and part of the reason that I wanted to not go too big on the cover is just sort of thinking about the um, the desert landscapes and sort of the pictures that and the images that are reflected in the collection kind of, you know, are arid and um, barren. So I wanted the cover to sort of reflect that as, as it's reflected throughout. Now, in the middle of the book, there's a big splash of color, um, which you do see uh, in the architecture, but not so much in the landscape, right? So the cover is from the 12 by 12 collection pack. And I basically um, layered in, and I'm going to tip it so you can see, I've, I've put some uh, chipboard behind this layer um, and this layer, and then I popped these two flowers. So if you lifted this, you'd see there's a flower on each one of these cacti. And then, um, yeah, so like I said, I kept that pretty simple. So that's my cover. There's the spine, and then it wraps around. So it's very consistent flow from front to back. Okay, so I have to share that this is absolutely my favorite pattern in the whole collection. <laughs> I just love tiles. I think they're so pretty. Um, and I also want to let you know that I did use um, uh, Claire Chevelle's signature black construction tape um, around the edges of this album when I made it. So I'm starting to um, incorporate that more into my projects and I'm getting more accustomed to using the tape. Um, she has a wonderful tutorial if you go to uh, My Creative Spirit, wonderful tutorial on how to use the tape and the method is the same regardless of the size of the album. So one of the things I did a little different from the last one I made was I actually took a piece of white um, copy paper and I layered strips um, I scored it and then I laid strips uh, over my score lines, the score lines that were going to be revealed uh, in the hinge and then um, added that to the um, the hinge itself. So it's not just cardstock. It's a piece, it's a really thin piece of copy paper scored the way I would normally score my hinge system. And then not on the peaks, but on all the valleys, I added this strip of construction tape. So it's my first time doing that. So I'm going to monitor it and see how it's going to hold up over time. But I'm really liking the way it's behaving so far. Okay, back to the album. So I have an insert here, and this is a four by six card. And then I have this nice large card. So lots of room for photos. As usual, if you click um, on the, if you go down to the description, click show more, the first thing you're going to see is the material list for this project. And then it'll be followed by the cut list. Got a nice large insert. I had uh, definitely enough um, paper to cover one side. Um, I still have some paper left over, but you'd have to do significant color blocking to cover the other side. Okay, got a nice flap over here and here. Lots of photo space. So it's a nice simple design. Over here, I made this uh, sort of trifold um, card for journaling, and then I just glued this uh, fussy cut apart element down here to hold everything closed, okay? And the, uh, the uh, descriptions include the size of the uh, inserts. Okay, another card insert. And again, this is four by six. I just put a little tab on front on the top. I thought that was fun. And this is just an image that's split so that when you take everything out, you see this beautiful image. And this section right here is perfect for a photo. Or of course, photos inside your inserts. And then a nice large photo map. Now here's that color I was talking about. So again, this is the color that you see in pottery and architecture in the Southwest, not so much in the landscape, right? So I really like the way the peppers kind of rain down from the top in these beautiful pots. So this opens to the bottom, to the top, and then inside is a narrow pocket with an insert. Oops, I did that backwards. 
same thing on this side. And this, uh, the flap design was dictated basically by these cut aparts right here. I definitely wanted to use them. I thought they were really pretty. Okay, nice large photo mat. That's in the main body of the uh, uh, pocket page. Okay, I think this is fun too. I didn't intend for these two pages to look alike, but again, I let the paper dictate where I was trimming. So this is one uh, sheet. This is the eight by eight. So I just cut along, you know, one of the lines here to make the pocket and I've got some inserts. And then again, this is also an eight by eight and this is naturally where you would cut it up apart. So I like the way this kind of flowed together. So I stuck with it. So each of these has a nice large insert. I think that's seven by four. So you can put either a small photo or some journaling down here at the bottom. And then because these pages were so simple, I decided to do something a little different. So I have two of these and basically it's a finished, what looks like a finished four by six card. But if you open it up, there's a waterfall in each one of them. So there's a, a four flap waterfall in each one of these. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Which I thought was kind of a fun thing to do. Pardon me. I'm sorry. I got a catch. <clears throat> so there you go. So I do have the cut instructions and the score instructions for this. And there is a slight gusset here uh, to house uh, the width of uh, the waterfall. Okay. Another large photo mat. Okay. And this is um, an, uh, from the 12 by 12. And it was, I really like the way this turned out, especially on the inside. I didn't have um, a lot of the architecture in uh, in the uh, images that I chose for the pages. So I thought this was a nice uh, touch. And then on the inside, I've got all what looks like these sketches and I just love that look and it makes it really easy to put a photo on too. And then inside my nice wide belly band, it's a four inch belly band. So you could even put a three by three photo here if you wanted, are two very large inserts. And I just, this wound up being leftover from something and I just like the image. So I was like, I just need to frame that. I would put something on the back. This one deserves something on the front for sure. So this I believe is six. Yeah, these each of these flaps are six inches or six and a half, six inches after you score um, the hinge. So you can put a uh, nice size photos on both sides of these. Okay, and then of course you can put photos here too. And I just think this is the prettiest paper ever. So that is, um, Ciao Bella, Sonora. I hope you guys enjoyed this walkthrough. Um, my next album is Graphic 45 Cottage Life and I'll be working on that. And I'd really like some feedback from you guys on what size you'd like. I was actually thinking of doing um, Cottage Life in the same sort of style as um, Come One, Come All, but making it look more like um, a gazebo. So let me know what your thoughts are on that, or if you'd rather have just a, tra a traditional album and what size you guys are thinking about. Thanks everybody for tuning in. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create. We really appreciate you guys taking time to come over here, view our videos, like, share, and subscribe. It makes a world of difference for our business. So I just really, really want to, from the bottom of my heart, thank everybody for taking time out of their busy days to share with us. Have a great day. See you soon. Oops, I almost forgot guys. <laughs> I'm back. I want to share with you some flowers that have been curated by Julie to go with this collection. Now because I kept my cover simple, I didn't really use them here, but I do want to show you um, how these, um, especially this green, goes really well with the collection and these oranges. So I'm going to have these listed, even though I did not use them in this uh, book, I'm going to have them listed next to uh, the material or with the material list as a, as a curated and coordinated option for your albums. Okay. So thanks everybody for tuning in again. Sorry, I forgot to do this. <laughs> Be back soon. <laughs>